The Taylor Show. Brought to you. On the season premiere of Scandal, Olivia Pope is back to face the dirtiest scandal yet. We can't do this. Her own. A loss this big could end. And we're back. DBLA. I hope my audience is doing great today. I know in yesterday's episode, we discussed about what to do when you find your partner in bed with someone else. Very risque. However, in today's segment, we're going to discuss a more serious topic, pregnancy. Now, it's not just your average teenage pregnancy. It's pregnancies that happen during a much later age. Let's give you guys some background information on the topic we're going to discuss today. And we're back. All right, audience, let's bring out our couple. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Jorge and Consuela Taquito. Consuela, please tell the audience your story. Well, me and my husband have been married for 12 years, and we've been trying to have a baby naturally ever since we've been married. One of our friends informed us a few months ago about IVF. We researched it and decided it wouldn't hurt to give it a try. I see. And Consuela, do you mind telling the audience your age? I just recently turned 46 years old in November. Okay, so while we were showing the audience the background information, you guys were in the back watching as well, right? Yes, we were. Okay, so you're well aware of all the complications that can occur with your pregnancy because at your age, there's a high risk of your baby obtaining Down syndrome, T13, and that's only if the baby is carried the entire term. At your age, you have an increased percentage of having miscarriages or stillbirths. Are you prepared for that? With all due respect, Kayla, no matter how this baby comes out, if it makes it through the pregnancy, we will love it because it would be the miracle we've been waiting for for 12 years. Well, all right. Here at the Kayla Show, we wish you guys nothing but the best in your pregnancy. That's why we're going to give you guys $500,000 to help you with anything that you need. Oh my God, thank Gracias, you so senor. Much. Thank you. All right, folks, that's our show. But before we end it, let's see if you guys with someone who has beat the odds of old age pregnancies and hope that Mr. and Mrs. Taquito the best. Thank you, and you guys have a nice day. Michael, I was due before my 40th birthday, which meant I had about a 1 in 66 chance of a chromosomal disorder. My husband and I opted for early genetic testing. The odds were still good that we'd have a normal, healthy baby. Instead, we were the one in 66, with an abnormality so rare there were no numbers to predict it, mosaic trisomy 16, or MT16. The geneticist said we probably had a better chance of winning the lottery. MT16 is capricious. Everything could be perfectly fine, or my pregnancy could end with fetal death. More likely, there would be premature delivery, low birth weight, or a physical defect anything from slightly curved fingers to a major heart malformation. We just didn't know. This pretty much sucked the joy out of my pregnancy. At 26 weeks, our baby's growth lagged and my blood pressure was up. Still, his chance of survival was at 60%. I needed to relax, so we went to the casino. We figured with our fickle luck, we might win big. But that day we didn't. My water broke the next week, three months early, and I was put on hospitalized bed rest. We needed better odds. If we could make it to 28 weeks, our baby would have an 80% chance of survival. We made it. Thomas had no birth defects, but he was so very, very small. One pound, 10 ounces. The first time I held him, two weeks later, he looked like a fledgling that had fallen from the sky. 
trailed by a tangling nest of tubes and wires keeping him alive. I wondered then if our luck would hold out. It did. Thomas survived and thrived. A year went by, and we got a surprise bonus. I was pregnant again, despite a less than 5% chance of natural conception. This time we had a 1 in 53 risk of a chromosomal abnormality. But Perry was perfectly fine. I realize now that numbers really can't tell you much about what's actually going to happen. Sometimes you're lucky. Sometimes you're not. We just happened to hit the jackpot twice. Melissa Gray is a producer here at All Things Considered. Just put your arm around there. Don't look like a creep. Don't look like a creep. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> oh my. Me and my husband have been married for 12 years, and we've been trying to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Look. Yeah. Our baby will look sexy. I'm going to murder you. Let's do this. Take six. Okay. Leave me out of it. I hope my audience is doing great today. I know in yesterday's episode, we discussed about what to do when you find your partner in bed with someone else. Ooh, very risque. <laughs> Take eight, scene one. Okay. Leave me out it. I hope my audience is doing great today. I know in yesterday's episode, we talked about how, what to do when you find your partner in bed with someone else. Ooh, very risque. However, in today's episode, we're discussing a more serious topic. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Cut. Oh my god. <laughs> stop recording it. I put it in. No, stop. No, no, no. I have to get in the car. Okay, I'll say cut and then that's when you start. Action. Leave me away. I hope my audience is doing great. I know in yesterday. <laughs>